Hi everybody, I'm Joe Parker of the Pixel Depot. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to do another quick video to show you a change that I made to the support structure for the backdrop for the grunge layout. Sometimes when you're modeling, things don't work out like you planned, whether it be a track plan, a structure, track, or even the structure of the layout itself. I told you at the outset that I would show you the process I used to build the layout, including mistakes and how I fixed them. So here we are. Mistakes are how we learn and there's no need to be afraid of them. Annoyed by them? Most definitely. Afraid of them? No. The key is not to make the same mistakes over and over. Even though I use screws attached to the wooden supports on the inside of the layout to mount the backdrop, I found that as I screwed them in, they cracked the veneer of the gator foam just a little bit more than I had hoped. As a result, it didn't provide the level of stiffness that I wanted. Without clamps, if I put the layout on its side to work on it, the backdrop would sag and I was worried that it would eventually break. So to avoid that, I decided to add some bracing to the back. So let's get to it. But first a reminder, this channel is about model railroading, including planning, hints, tips, how-tos, and updates. To stay up to date, click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell so you'll get notified when there's new content available. And click on the thumbs up now to like this video so you won't have to worry about it later. As I thought about it, I decided there were a couple of ways I could address this issue. The first was drill some additional holes and add two sets of mending plates to each side of the layout base. This would have been similar to the method I used to tie the two sides of the benchwork together from the original benchwork video. The second was to use the current screws and holes and add some washers, hoping that the surface area of the washer would push the backdrop up against the base and provide some additional support. Solution number one, the mending plates, was the first idea that I came up with, and it was something I was confident I could make work, but there were a couple of problems that I saw. The first is pretty basic. I just didn't want to drill any more holes in the layout base if I didn't have to. The second was a little more complicated in pressing. Because this wall behind the layout isn't perfectly straight, the left side of the layout is wedged in pretty well. I was concerned that putting a mending plate at that end was going to mar the wall as I moved the layout in and out to move it. I continued to ponder and came up with solution number two, which was the washers. The ones I got have a reasonable amount of material around the hole, so I thought I could get the same amount of support from them that I could from the mending plates. To avoid the marring problem, I could also simply leave off the washers on that far end and still have a reasonable level of support and stiffness. So off to the hardware store I went to get washers. Once I got home, something else occurred to me. The washers I purchased might be too big given how close the screws are on the back of the layout. And, as you'll see, some of the screws were too close to install the washers as is. I could have used smaller washers and given up some surface area and stability, but instead I chose to drill a couple of new holes near the original ones, which allowed me to still screw into the wood supports. This was preferable to drilling four sets of completely new holes that I would have needed for the mending plates. So remember when I said not to make the same mistakes over and over? Yeah. Here's one that happens to me more than I'd like. And I don't know if it's just me, but I often go with a solution only to discover an additional problem after I've bought the materials that I didn't even see when coming up with that solution. Like with the washers being too close together. If this happens to you, please let me know in the comments so I don't feel like so much of a dunce. And for the newcomers in the audience, just be aware that sometimes you have to iterate through some different ideas before you get to one that works. So let's make this happen. I'm going to start here on the right hand side because that's the side that was a little saggier than the rest. Now using this method I may have to drill a couple of additional holes uh, just because these are too close together I believe to put the both there. That's still preferable to me than drilling a, a series of new holes perhaps in this area or on the other side of the clamp in order to put in the mending plate. This time I'm just going to use a handheld screwdriver. The good news here is that as I screw this in, I can actually feel the backdrop moving up and, and being sturdier and, and more robust here as I add the screw. I will need to put another hole in here, just to the right of where that other one is.
Here on the far end, this is where the layout wedges in between the edge of the wall and the door frame, as I mentioned before. I'm going to leave the washers off of this area, hoping that the ones I added over there are going to be enough to make this solid. Now, if all goes well here, when I release this clamp, everything should stay put. And that does not look like it moved. It shook, of course, because I moved the clamp, but it looks pretty solid there. This does not want to move very much at all. So I think the washer solution will work just fine for me. Now we'll do the other side as well. The spacing on these last two were wide enough that I didn't have to drill new holes like I did on the others, <clears throat> which is a happy coincidence. One thing I did want to mention here is that uh, I'm using a hand screwdriver instead of the power driver that I used originally. Uh, I'm hoping that will help me get a snug fit without doing any damage. You probably can't hear that on camera, but I could hear the foam just starting to compress there, so I think that's a good tight fit. I'll take this clamp off. As long as I have the layout tipped on its side, I will tighten these up as well, just to make sure that everything is good and solid before I put it back on the shelf. I think these simple changes will make for a more robust layout structure, provide extra stiffness to the backdrop, and allow me to move the layout without worrying about damage. And if it doesn't, I'll try something else and let you know. That's going to do it for this update. Make sure you subscribe so that you can keep tabs on the progress on the grunge layout. My name is Joe Parker, and this channel is The Pixel Depot. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll meet me next time in the train room. <coughs>